what I have been talking about here was about um, imaging deeply into tumors. So we can see uh, how they grow, how they invade, where they invade, uh, what the consequences are for the tissue, and for instance, how these um, different regions of the tumor respond to therapy. We use a multi-photon microscope. It's, uh, it's like a normal microscope, uh, which however can go much deeper into tissues, like half a millimeter. Um, and we still can see subcellular structures, which means we can see little vesicles in the cell or little um, regions, small regions in the nucleus. Um, it also allows us to uh, monitor, to see areas that haven't been visible so far uh, in terms of behavior of the tumor cells and also resistance of the tumor cells when we try to treat them. Oh, it has a couple of layers. The first is to visualize something that so far has only been in our heads. So like um, so far there was a black box phenomenon, how is the early invasion happening, where is it happening, along which structures. And so people have fantasies and then the, you see these fantasies in papers. And so having this type of imaging allows to uh, match, uh, double check whether the fantasies match reality. Uh, the second uh, is that we get a dynamic view of how the cancer behaves. From histology you always see something fixed. And uh, men, most, most people do not appreciate how dynamic everything is. Like a cancer can invade a millimeter per week to all sites. And if you extrapolate that to the natural history of the cancer disease, you lose centimeters of volume within a few weeks already. So this uh, dynamic view um, um, helps to understand uh, the, the biology. The third layer, of course, is uh, that we can do molecular imaging and cellular imaging in a, in a repetitive fashion. So we see uh, the tumor grow, we see vessels come in, we see how the tumor invades into healthy tissue, uh, which hasn't been visible before.